Hi guys and welcome to Phoenix and the Noms. Well Phoenix, where did we go? We went to Bulk Barn, we got all these items. Yeah, Bulk Barn is a bulk store. It's not a zero waste store, it is a bulk store. There's a difference. They're located all throughout Canada and you're allowed to bring your own containers as long as they're clean and uh, fill it up with uh, anything you want that they sell in the store. So this is the stuff we got today, huge glass containers. Most of them are uh, pickle containers. Myself and my mother-in-law buys a lot of pickles. So this is the type of glass jar you get and has a really wide mouth. So it's easy to scoop things in. And the other type of jar I have is, this was a spaghetti sauce jar. I don't usually buy this one, but we, we happen to have it in the house. And then the other type of jar, which is my now my new favorite jar. The this biggest is, one. Yeah, these are four liter pickle jars. They hold tons of them. Yeah, and it's really big and I'm hoping to get a bunch of these big ones because they hold a lot of stuff. Okay. So Phoenix, what's the first thing we got? What's this here? Okay, these are, these are raisins. Yeah, these are Thompson raisins. So what I did was I stuck a label on the bottom and you take your empty jar with your lid to the cash register at Bulk Barn and she will put the weight on the bottom of the jar. So it weighs 0.430 grams. You take it to um, where you want. So Thompson Raisins happen to be on special because they're having a big special for uh, baking good stuff. You undo your lid and if Phoenix can get me that funnel, I actually bring a funnel with me. This is a wide mouth jar. So it's really easy to put the scoops in, but I actually got one of these metal mason jar funnels. It's for canning and it fits right into your containers so you even have this much more surface to pour the big scoops in and you just shake it to get it in and this is a lifesaver because you don't make a lot of mess and it saves a lot of mess in the store and uh, what I have heard is some bulk barns now are only accepting containers with wide mouths so I don't know if it's going to be all bulk barns throughout Canada but some of them in Canada have accepted only wide mouth jars now. So if you see this this jar, right, I'll show you the difference if I can open it. Those are? Yeah, so here's the, this, the difference. See how the size is different? And this one, I can't, I can't even get this one in. It doesn't go in. It just kind of, you kind of have to hold it on the edge. So I guess maybe bulk, bulk barn might be changing their policies on some stores or maybe eventually all across Canada. So this is our Thompson raisins. And we got those because I had absolutely no raisins in the house. And we need to make oatmeal raisin cookies and you'll see those in the next video. Yeah, the next video we're going to do is oatmeal raisin cookies. Um, this is cloves, whole cloves I picked up. I had absolutely none in the house. I wish you could smell this because this smells like amazing. Right? Have a smell feature. Yeah. So we got some whole cloves. And we have almonds. Yeah, I got some whole almonds today, this time, because we had no almonds at all in the house. So I'm going to keep these to use them in baking. I'm going to grind them up in the food processor, chop them up, put them in cereals, oatmeal. Make almond milk. We could try making our own almond milk. That might be a good recipe for the future. And we can get that on camera. And we have rose buds. Yeah, we got some rosebuds or rosettes uh, because this was the request of uh, daddy, the daddy request. He wanted some chocolate rosebuds, so that's what we got. A whole bunch of them. This is white pepper. Yeah, guys, Bulk Barn has like eight or nine different peppers. All in the spice section. Yeah, it's all in the spice section. This is happens to be white pepper. Uh, very fine. I really like white pepper. I think it has a better flavor than regular black pepper. And it's not as coarse. This is like really powdery. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it's like really a fine powder. And it smells a lot like pepper. Well, of course, it's pepper. And, and we will sneeze. Yeah, we were trying to scoop it into the jar at Bulk Barn. And I had to cover nose with my shirt. I did. I had to cover my nose with my shirt because uh, the powderies was going up in the air. 
and uh, it was going to make me sneeze. Well, now we have the chocolate chips, mini. Yeah, this is my four liter jar of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. It's very big, it's very heavy. It's very full. Yeah, it's super full. But the good thing is it's gonna last a long time. And because we're, um, this, this video was done bef before Christmas, so it's gonna be a lot of baking. What's this one, Phoenix? This is salt. This is your regular table salt. This is four liter jar of table salt. This stuff is so cheap to buy bulk. But it's so heavy. It was extremely heavy. But it's so cheap to buy bulk. And it's also great for cleaning. You can use it for your cleaning products too. What's this one, Phoenix? We have the most messy thing in the world, molasses. <laughs> yes. Now tell them the story of what happened. Oh my goodness, Bulk Barn, if you are watching this video, please put in dispensers for your liquids like molasses and peanut butter. Okay, my local uh, Bulk Barn has giant, just picture giant containers, giant tubs, okay? And you have to flip open this plexiglass thing. And you have this tiny little flippy scoop. You have to use to pick it up and put it in. Yeah, so you have to like flip open the, the thing to, and it's supposed to have a magnet to hold it, but the magnet wouldn't hold, so I had to get Phoenix to hold it open like this. And then they give you this long, flat, giant spatula. Like, it's like over one foot long. So the object is you're supposed to hold your jar, okay, hold your jar, dip this giant spatula into your molasses or peanut butter, and then dip it let it drip into your jar. And so as you can imagine, the entire jar, this side yeah. was like covered in molasses. Uh, when it was up to here, it, there was molasses going all the way down here and we had to get a napkin from there. And then we had to get hand sanitizer, like a lot of it and to wipe it down. And then when it got here, it was like a giant waterfall of it. And then we had to get like more hand sanitizer, more napkins, and then we finally cleaned it. And then when we opened it again, it got sticky. Yeah, it was quite messy. I even put like a paper towel all around here and I had it sitting in one of their, they have little plastic containers you can use. So when I poured it in, it just dripped here and two, into the container. They have two honey containers and one corn starch container, but they don't have molasses in them. Well, see, that's what's very interesting. Phoenix is very right. They have a dispenser for corn starch, no, corn syrup and two kinds of honey where you just put your jar underneath and you turn the knob and the nozzle fills it up. But for all their molasses and all their nut butters, you have to use this weird spoon. Yeah. So this is a uh, fancy molasses and I was... I what's fancy about it. Well, there's two different kinds. There's some fancy molasses and black strap molasses. So I got fancy and it smells so wonderful and I'm gonna make molasses cookies with them. And I was almost out. So the next thing we got is... What are these, Phoenix? Those are something. These are pickling spices. Yes. So you can buy the, the spice mix already done. And then you're just gonna put it with some, you want to pickle and you pickle it. Yeah. So it's got all kinds of stuff in there and it smells... God, it smells so good. But it's great for canning or pickling anything. It smells good. And I had none at all, so now I do and I don't have to worry about getting any. And the last thing was Phoenix was allowed to pick something for himself. We got what? gummy squirmies. That's actually what they were called. Yeah, the sign said squirmies, right? Yeah. And it was misspelled. Yeah, but we call them... Gummy uh, worms. Gummy worms. And those are the longer ones. Yeah, so this is just gummy worms in a mason jar. With the cheese lid. Yeah, here's a good tip for you guys. This is a plastic lid that comes off of the dried cheese that you use for spaghetti. So one side has got three holes. The other side doesn't have any holes. And the other side has this one. But this fits on any standard mason jar. So I actually kept these from my 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 cheese uh, ones. And this is a gummy squirmy. That's a gummy worm, yeah. Yeah, so they're pretty good. All right, get it off the screen. So he got some gummy worms. That was his his thing. He could pick 
in the store. And we have used the same funnel that we used for pepper. Yeah, we use, like I said, we use this mason jar funnel to fill up everything except for the molasses. So and the pepper got on the gummy worms. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit of pepper is on the gummy worms. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. But this is our newest bulk barn haul. And I really encourage you to use a bulk barn if you have it um, available to you. And they had really good deals like the almonds, um, the rosebuds, the chocolate chips, the raisins. This, uh, I think even the salt, it was all on special at a lower price. And if you download the coupon on your cell phone, that gives you uh, $5 off when you spend $20 or more. So I got an additional $5 off. So it was pretty good. And I just really do suggest Bulk Burn, please get dispensers for your molasses and your nut butters. So we'll see you again in the uh, next Bulk Burn haul. And we will be making molasses cookies after the oatmeal ones. Yeah, we have some videos coming up for oatmeal cookies and molasses cookies. And maybe almond. Oh, maybe almond too. <laughs>